Welcome back. So today we're going to learn how to clean a jelly plate. As you can see, this one is really filthy, especially around the edges. So the first thing I'm going to try is by putting a layer of paint down and using some rice paper to see how much I can lift off naturally. And then I can always use that as a collage paper later or, you know, a background for something more intricate. But um, it's a good try anyway. And this rice paper, I'll put a link below, it um, really picks up a lot of the paint. So we're going to really give it a good rub. And as you can see, we got a lot of that edge. So now we have a lot less um, scrubbing to do. And I'm using these baby wipes that I got from, um, I think it was Walgreens. Um, but many brands will work and I'm just going to rub around the edges and sometimes as you can see this is really stubborn and I use a little bit of uh, hand sanitizer and sort of uh, rub it in and sometimes let it let it sit for a bit um, I'll work on some other area while I'm waiting for that to do its magic and then I'll start rubbing again. And sometimes I use my fingernails very lightly to just sort of through the cloth to help coax the paint off the jelly plate without damaging the jelly plate. Now along the edges, you'll get this like crust and that's where your fingernails really come in. But if you also rub back and forth with the, with the cloth, it starts to loosen up. Now I'm going to try some uh, packing tape. Guess what? This usually works. It did not work this time. As you can see, it didn't work at all. So I think that paint was really, really on there. But that's also another thing you can try. And maybe it was because the, the jelly plate was so slick with the, um, you know, hand sanitizer and the... Uh, you know, baby wipes that maybe it just, the tape just couldn't stick to it. I'm, I'm not really sure, but um, I should have tried that first before I did this. Um, but just know that that sometimes does a great job as well. And sometimes on those stubborn areas, you just have to keep doing the hand sanitizer and just working it. This one was really challenging. especially in the corners. I'm almost, almost good on this side. Now I have to flip it over. The other side wasn't much better. So again, I decide to try the paint. At least let's get some of this uh, white paint. I think it was white. It might have been like an iridescent. Maybe that's why it stuck. Again, rice paper. So it looks like that wasn't white paint, but some that might have been like Titan white on top of iridescent uh, blue. So I must have missed, uh, mixed some iridescent pearl with my blue paint, and that's why it really stuck. So as you can see, it's much cleaner now. Now I just have the edges to work with, uh, to work on, and get it all clean. And then I'm finished. Uh, that splotch of paint that you see is actually on the mat, uh, the, the self-healing mat that I'm working on. It's not on the jelly plate. And I'm just trying to get some little specks off around the edges and in the middle. 
And like I said, if you do use your fingernails, be very careful. You don't want to damage your jelly pipe. If you enjoyed this tip, please smash that like button. It really helps my channel. Thank you. So now I'm going over the whole area. Now, sometimes it leaves like a, a slick surface. And I, if I want to start working right away, um, it's best to just put down a piece of um, plain copy paper to let it absorb some of that moisture uh, from when you were cleaning. And now you'll have a good surface to work on that your paint will stick to. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it's uh, helpful to you in your jelly printing. See you next time. Bye.